Hey guys, today I can't really say that we're explorers, we're just gonna go to Art Science Museum because it's a very hot day and we're feeling a bit lazy and in the evening we have to go out with our friends for dinner, it's our like farewell dinner. So we are going to Art Science Museum. It's our trick, like go-to place when we are feeling lazy because kids love that museum and it's very safe. They can just run around there by themselves and you can just sit, watch them in the air <laughs> under the AC. So yeah, we're gonna we're repeating it already many times, but it's really a good place where if you don't know what to do with your kids and you feel a bit tired and lazy, let's go. It's still awesome place though. Maybe we'll see some new exhibitions that we haven't seen yet. We never went for uh, Star Wars exhibition, so maybe we see some new stuff as well today. Let's go. So beautiful. Here we were just sitting on the floor and chilling, but as you can see, Alvaro couldn't resist and he also jumped into the game. We had some fun in the Art Science Museum and we decided to try this place. We've never been here, Black Hat. Uh, it's like a burger place and plus they have amazing milkshakes. They look so huge. And we decided just to treat kids. It's their holidays now, like school holidays. So yeah, I will show you. They, they look unbelievable. But piece of advice, reserve before because now we have to wait yeah, 30 so to 45 minutes. Yeah, we have to wait now. We're very hungry. Excited. <laughs> So we got it much faster than we expected. They told us 15 They told us 30 45. to 45. Yeah. So we were super lucky. I can't wait. I mean, I'm looking forward to food, but I'm really looking forward to the food. excited, here. as you can see. Very excited. Guys, food looks my... delicious. I changed my fries for Greek salad. Alvaro didn't, as you can see. He chose to eat fries. <laughs> And they also were very kind. We asked, we ordered for kids one burger and they split it for us. I'll give you one potato and you give me one potato. Mama. Mm -hmm. really good. Good? Wow. Oh, I want a Look at the size of this, you can't even see Leo. Oh my god. Oh my god. I have a lollipop. I have a lollipop. I will eat blues and you can eat bread. <laughs> Mmm, delicious, no? This is really nice. It's really like, I don't know, it's just explosion of happiness in childhood. Thank you, Mama, Papa. Oh, you're welcome. Today we're gonna explore one more restaurant with a beautiful view. Uh, we're still continuing kind of like saying bye to our friends <laughs> we're spending some time together and this will be like our farewell dinner and the place should be really nice because we will enjoy the beautiful view and it's called level 33 we've never been there none of us so Can we're wait. super yeah, excited <laughs> let's go <laughs> Like it's good to know. 
So guys, it's a beer place, but for some reason today we didn't feel like beers, we had food and wine, and food was really good, actually, somehow it expect, uh, exceeded my expectations, we took a, a meat platter, I will show you now. You know, so we have, a, by the time we are 50. We know there's... But this view. We saw like we saw it from there. So guys, we went for a walk after the restaurant and it's Saturday evening and it's quite vibrant here next to Merlion. All the restaurants are closed, but like people like to hang out, they use the opportunity, they just meet. Weather is always nice, why not, right? So people just yeah, they like to spend time outdoors. I want to tell you about one thing. Over there, if you come to Merlion, over there under the bridge, you see Merlion is here. Over there, there's quite a nice place with a lot of options like juices, smoothies, all sorts of things. So if you come here late in, at night, everything is closed and I don't know, you want to have a drink. I mean, it's non-alcoholic drinks, but they're nice. They're very tasty and you just want to enjoy something. You can grab a drink there with a friend or with your spouse, with your... Some... Uh, you see, actually I decided to go for one. <laughs> they really have a lot of options. Yogurt smoothies, juices, whatever you want, healthy stuff. So guys, about one year ago, a bit more, when we came here, uh, I posted the video uh, that yeah, we arrived to Singapore and the first people with whom we started hanging out here were our friends from Munich. These friends. And this is what Singapore does to you. I'll even link the video when uh, we just uh, met them and we are hanging out together in the bar, in the, in the, in the cafe, we're eating lunch, whatever. And now we're having a lot of fun, but the thing is that they're going back very soon um, and we are very sad about it, but also we're having only fun with it. We were making fun with it. the video when we just met everything was so calm kids were so small and now they're going nuts we're like what the life have done to us in one year just watch a bit guys i just want to keep it i hope you will laugh with us and you hope you will understand it correctly we're just really letting kids do whatever they want and even our dogs and i just want to keep it as memories because it's so priceless i want to keep more now because i looked back one year ago we had a small piece together and it's so precious that you can go back and have a small documentary of your life yeah thank you for being with us and sharing these moments guys Hi guys, this is my favorite place in Singapore. I just dropped Amy in summer camp and I want to walk from here to our house. It's a bit of a long walk, but I'm just gonna hear to an audiobook and enjoy the day because it's not so warm today. Uh, even little breeze. So nice to be here. So yeah, we're still on restrictions, but camps are functioning. They did have some changes, like uh, they cannot keep kids for lunch because they cannot feed them there. 
but still it's good kids can have activities so it's not really like full lockdown it's just some extra restrictions um, what else about the news uh, so soon had to be national day of Singapore which is a really nice event there is a uh, firework and um, avia show but they had to postpone it and I think it's, it's a good idea so people don't make gatherings and don't risk um, to contaminate each other guys meanwhile a lot of people from our circle are leaving Singapore and it makes us feel very strange very sad it's like people are going somewhere and we are staying even though we like Singapore and uh, we have a lot of plans for this country and we hope when things reopen we really wanted to travel the region but uh, yeah it makes us also think where do we go next when is gonna happen um, we do have for now two options uh, it's Portugal and Germany but yes, it's uh, a beauty of expat lives that you get to see the world and you meet a lot of great people but you very often have to say bye and you very often have to lose parts of your life with people with places where you get attached i mean i love this place for example i feel very special here and one day i'll have to leave it and never see it again maybe yeah there is always two sides of any meadow very philosophical today anyways guys let's have a walk it's very beautiful here i want to show you around a bit anyways guys we're explorers on this channel so let's continue getting to know singapore now we're on robertson key one of my favorite places in Singapore, as I already mentioned probably too many times, but I can't resist. And this colorful bridge that, I don't know, if you see it once, you can't forget it. Uh, it's called al Kaf Bridge. It was named one of, um, after one of the Arabic families uh, that lived in Singapore. They were probably like one of the richest families here, because even the key was called al Kaf Key. Uh, because they lived here nearby in this area and now it's the bridge that is called after them. The bridge is 55 meters long and 230 tons. And the interesting part, uh, maybe you don't see it immediately, but it's made as the type of boats that were used on these rivers to carry goods around. I'm going to write the name because I forgot the name, Tong Kong. I'm afraid to make a mistake in pronunciation, so I'm going to put it here on the screen for you. Over there is a nice burger place, just saying, called Three Buns. I think it's really important to talk a bit about the artists that transformed this bridge. Uh, the bridge itself was opened in 1999, it was just normal dull bridge. In 2003, uh, the artist from Philippines, Pasita Abad, noticed this bridge and she got this idea to make it uh, colorful and cheerful. So she worked really hard for one year. And it's very important to mention that by then she was already very sick with cancer. She was working in a wheelchair. She went told her doctors, please let me work. I'm going to die anyways. I really want to finish my work. And people who worked with her remember that even back then, if feeling like that being sick, she always was positive and spreading really good energy. I think this story is really fascinating. It even made me look differently at this bridge. I'm going to leave the link in the description box to the article. Maybe you also want to read. so peaceful around just me and Singapore no people empty streets it's like real meditation I can calmly walk around think feel it's like ultimate pleasure for me okay guys I'm all dressed up unbelievable but still not all the events got cancelled we recently found out that our candlelight concert was just um, postponed for today and we're super excited <laughs> we're rushing a bit it's gonna be Mozart today and it's gonna be in the new concert hall we've never been there before so I mean it's awesome we're super excited let's go so this concert hall is located in the uh, National Library so it's a great library especially for kids they have amazing zones on there for children and first time will be for us in that concert hall. It's so lucky that concerts are not uh, cancelled, that yeah. it's still possible. It's great. 
curious to see how it looks. This is in the National Library. It's called Drama Center. It's maybe some sort of theater. I don't know. The first time for us. And to be honest, we found out last moment that it's here. I didn't even get to Google research a bit about this place. Usually I'm more prepared, right? <laughs> Always know interesting facts about things. <laughs> the interesting fact that this is a library. <laughs> to the drama center and this is here Our tickets okay this is how it looks we will be sitting on e18 uh, here oh not bad Right, let's see how it looks inside. Wow. Nice. In the end of every candlelight concert, musicians give a bonus with one piece where you can uh, take out your camera and film, but usually it's not from the same composer as the concert was dedicated to. This piece is called Purna Cabeza and it's still really amazing and I think it's very emotional and sensual. But they threw in the tango in the end. <laughs> yeah, they we, mixed it up. I really enjoyed the concert. It was great. I can't. So first, my favorite because it's our third. My favorite was Vivaldi. I think yeah, but still Vivaldi. Probably yeah, because in there I cried. I swear, like I mean, not like cry out loud, but I had tears in my eyes. It was very emotional. They really picked such a, a strong pieces. They really get to you. But this one I enjoyed a lot. They they also had more like lighter, happier uh, compositions that you yeah it would make sense to cry. They don't get to you in that way. But it was really really good. So happy. Yeah. So happy. Hi guys, I just arrived to Tion Baru. It's a local market. Actually, it's a very old one and very famous. I mainly need flowers because I'm going to visit my friend today. I wanted to grab some flowers for her. But also let's walk around and yeah, I want to show you the market a little bit. I think this market could totally be a touristic destination as well if you're traveling to Singapore. Let's see. What a selection, everything is so fresh. Guys, on the market you definitely can always uh, find better prices, especially fruits and veggies. And also, if you want to cook some local food for local ingredients, for sure you have to come here. You'll find everything you need. the flowers that I chose for my friend <laughs> so, <laughs> guys I really recommend buying flowers there or maybe there are more markets that I don't know yet but it's there's so much fresher than in supermarkets and in shops and um, also so much cheaper and they're so beautiful right Amy do you think they're beautiful yes hey guys thank you for watching thank you for sharing good moments with us all the best to you and see you soon bye bye